Hello guys, we are here in heaven. <laughs> heaven <laughs> And we are so excited because um something got put in my heart for this episode, episode four, is to start a series on the Holy Spirit and it'll be a it'll be three episodes and this is episode four, but it's part one of this Holy Spirit series. So I'm Brian and I'm gonna be interviewing Joseph today on this series of the Holy Spirit. I'm gonna ask him a couple of questions and just we're just gonna have a conversation and interact and you're gonna follow along. So I'm gonna start off with question number one actually who is the Holy Spirit Joseph? That's a good question in John 14 verse 15, 15 it says if you love me keep my commands and I will ask the Father and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever the Spirit of truth. When Jesus was Jesus was walking with the disciples for three years, and we know it was a time where they were being empowered, equipped. Um, their identity was being revealed to them. You know that with Peter. You know when Peter had that revelation of who Jesus is, then he had the revelation of who he was. So they were kind of like sad, like man, like Jesus is about to leave. But he said, you know what? I am going to leave, but I'm going to send the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is the presence of God. Moses said, God, I will not go to that place if your presence doesn't go with me. Mm. And he goes, God, how would they know that you're with me? How would they know that you chose me, that I, that I have favor in your eyes if you're not with me? And the Holy Spirit is the advocate. He's the teacher. He's the counselor. He's the spirit of truth. And he's the presence of God. With him. He's the assurance. He's the security. He's the presence of God that when we walk into a situation we know okay God is with me I remember I was recording episode 3 but when I walked in the room I felt his presence I felt the Holy Spirit I'm like so that gave me assurance okay this is what I'm supposed to be doing mm. good good and and just with that snips I, I, I want to ask the next question which is who has access to the Holy Spirit uh, Ephesians 1 Verse 13 says, And you were included in Christ when you heard the message of truth, the gospel of your salvation. When you believed, you were marked in him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit, who is a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance until the redemption of those who are God's possession to the praises of his glory. Who has access to the Holy Spirit? Simply everybody who believes in Jesus. That's so good. And and I, I've once heard um, a speaker say one time that God's gift to humanity was His Holy Spirit. That's good. The fact that He is the great comforter. Yeah. So, so with, with that even said, um, I just want to ask one more question. And Joseph, in, in your opinion, or, or in your saying, why the Holy Spirit? Why did God choose to give us the Holy Spirit? There's a story in the Bible where Jesus is walking, and this woman was desperate, and this woman touched them. And um, Jesus turns around, and He tells the disciples, Who touched me? And they're like, Bro, there's like thousands of people here. What do you mean who touched you? Yeah, yeah. He's like, no, 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 no. Somebody touched me. And, and they're like, where they're anticipating this like response. Like they're like, what is he gonna say next? And he's like, yeah, somebody touched me because, and this is key, power left from me. But how do you know that power leads from you unless you are aware that you carry power? Ooh. Acts chapter two says, Jesus tells the disciples, wait on him. And he's going to come. And there is nine in the morning in the upper room. And the Holy Spirit comes. And literally the whole room is filled with the strong wind. And everybody starts speaking in tongues. And in Acts chapter 3, Peter starts preaching the gospel. And thousands of people are converted to Christianity. So why the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit, when the Holy Spirit comes in a room, everything changes. Mm-hmm. But most importantly, when the Holy Spirit comes to your life, your life changes. Come on. Things that are out of order gain order. Things that do not have peace suddenly become peaceful. We need the Holy Spirit. In times such as this, in times where there's such desperation in our nation, we need the Holy Spirit. We need His presence, God with us. Oh, that's good. That's that's a treat. So Stay tuned, guys, and we just bless you. We, we cover you with, with God's blood, God's mercy. And, and I just want to leave you with this verse, uh, Psalms 46.10, that says, Be still and know that I am God. And it's like all you need is the stillness to invite the Holy Spirit into your life. 
um, after you believe in God. So God bless and have a great one. Bye.